what's going on, girl? Did you hear about Mary J. Blige and Shaka Khan? Girl, let me tell you what's going on. So, Shaka Khan and Mary J. Blige, you know they tight as rice, right? Yeah, they think it's thieves, girl. Now, before I tell y'all the story, I'm going to need y'all to do me a favor. I need y'all to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Gossip Girl, XOXO, hold on, girl. Well, I don't know what channel this on. Anyway, scratch that. Just make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, child. Okay, so Chaka and Mary J. Blige, they have a tight relationship. So um, Chaka, she is telling how she just let Mary J. Blige have it. Listen to this, y'all. Listen. In the 1990s, when you would introduce the Rufus song, Sweet Thing, mm -hmm. which was your ballad. I wrote it. You would call it the song Mary J. Blige up. Is that true? Well, I said I didn't say that out in public. I might have said it to her. Okay, but so you did believe. But she I told Mary J. Blige she fucked it up. How'd she fuck it up? Number one, her vocals were flat, and I told her. I asked her. I said, "What time did you? When did you? What time of day was it? A night? What were you doing when you decided to cover Sweet Thing? Where were you at when you covered it?" Oh, girl, I've been up all uh, all late and I was at eight o'clock in the morning, girl. I said, girl, you don't sing nothing at 8 o'clock in the morning. Come on. Especially if you have to get up to sing it. If you'd have been up all night smoking crack or something, I don't know. It might have been a, different, a whole different thing. But you don't get up at 8 o'clock in the morning to sing, girl. But she and I have that kind of relationship. We can talk. Yeah, you guys ended up recording together, right? Yeah, this was not we can something talk. You didn't, you didn't, we, we can you didn't honestly talk. Her. Yes. You know, yeah. I, love, I love her. She loves me. We don't have a problem. Yeah. Now, the press would love to make a problem. In the 1990s, when you would introduce the Rufus song, Sweet Thing, mm -hmm. which was your ballad. I wrote it. You would call it the song Mary J. Blige f***ed up. Is that true? Well, I, said, I didn't say that out in... <laughs> so I'm going to read here and see what the people are saying in the comments, if y'all don't mind. Uh, this is what they had to say about that. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. In the 1990s, okay. when you would... What are they saying? They said this, y'all. Listen, y'all. Y'all listening? Chaka Khan is a living legend, but she is messier than damn wigs. Okay, Auntie Chaka. We have excused a lot from you, but this is inexcusable. Because if that's the relationship y'all have, we ain't need to know you felt that way. Passive aggressive shade because, honey, you can't mention me and crack and say we cool. I pass. Now, why would you say crack? Uh, just old and mean. I am hollering. What time did you get to sing? Shaka is a true OG. I listen to Mary Virgin only, so I, G, you can say she did your song justice. Why we always got to treat each other like that? Women, we must heal. That comment ain't necessary, just nothing. All right, people are saying this is so inappropriate. I respect Shaka, but if we really want to talk about flat vocals, rough performances, poor stage presentation, drunken lyrics, slurred tones, and what should not be covered, the entire community can reference that full-on embarrassment versus verses that Stephanie Mills had to save you from. How dare you disrespect the soulful of Queen Mary she reintroduced the track to an entire generation of music lovers. Show honor back to her. I'm certain Shaka has not uttered those words to Mary's face in this lifetime. Well, I think he didn't seal the deal with that shit. Okay, comment. Let us know what you guys think. And poor Shaka, you wrong for that. Everybody say you wrong. You is so inappropriate and so trashy. Y'all supposed to be black girls bringing it up together. You didn't have to let the public know this shit. You know what I'm saying? They're always looking for a way to bring back down the black community to have sisters beefing. Even if y'all do talk like this, it's none of our damn business the way you talk to your sister Mary. This was just, oh, I can't stand it. Girl, get me on out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. DJ, come on now.